Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and in the last lesson, we started converting our site to HTML5. In this lesson, we're going to take it further, and now we're going to start at the top of our page, and we're going to work down a little bit. We're going to get this header section. We're going to get this all nice and perfect for us, okay? So let's get into it, okay? The first thing we need to do is find our template. So if you go to your PHP here, um, you'll know that it's it's getting the uh, the child header right here. This echo get child header. Well, if we go into our document structure, um, it's going to be in right here. Let's see, in our template folder. Um, I don't think we have one already yet. Let's check our own in the level up template folder. Oh, it looks like we do. We have the header p.html here. Perfect. This is the one we want. Uh, it's already uh, we've already made a copy of it from it before. If you don't have it in here, it goes in page HTML, and then the file is header.phtml. You can find it located in the same spot of the default theme as we have done before. So let's drag this. I'm going to open it up in uh, Sublime Text, taking a look at it. It um, you know some of the if you're not used to looking at PHP, some of this stuff can look scary when you open this up. Uh, but what you have to know is really it's just HTML with PHP thrown in here. For instance, we have a div tag, we have another div tag, just like you're used to in HTML, and then we have this if and else and if. If these weren't here, if these essentially didn't exist, then it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, nothing would happen. It just uh, basically what this statement is saying: If is this the home page? If it's the home page, then show this uh, H1 class of logo and all this stuff. Otherwise, just show an anchor instead of an H1. So let's see that in action. Actually, let's go to our page um, and we'll inspect this. We're on the home page right now. You can see we have in our header an H1 logo. Here it is. Let's go to a different page, cameras for instance. And I'm going to look at the same uh, header up here. And all we have is a, a div class header, an anchor, and then an image. So these templates aren't too scary. Um, there is something like if you were to, let's say, delete, um, if you were to delete like a character in here like this, we save it. Uh, and you mess up the PHP, I'm going to get a blank page because this, this is totally messing everything up. Uh, so always maybe save frequently, check your site uh, if you're not used to doing uh, PHP. Um, in general, you don't have to know a ton of PHP to get some good uh, progress on these sites because if you're just using the content that's already here, you don't have to write your own. And for most part, we're not going to have to write our own. So to actually to edit this I actually want this to be an H2 on pages that's not the home page. So here it's a H1 with a class of logo on pages that are not the home page and then nothing. But I'm just going to wrap this second one in an H2 just like this. Now, you know, this is just a, a, a semantics thing. I like to have this as an H2 on interior pages just to give the importance of the logo here. And also we have this quick access stuff. And then we have this top container, uh, and then we have this uh, top menu. So we have a bunch of stuff here. Well, what we actually want to do to get this to be more HTML5 like, we're going to actually change this uh, class of header. I'm going to refresh the page while I'm here. And we're going to leave this div that's a header container here. Uh, because that's going to be sort of a wrapper for our header. But what we want to do is have, instead of a div here for our header, we're going to have something that's a, an HTML5 tag just, just called header. And this is good for the header of any content in your site. And so some people think that the, uh, the HTML5 header tag is just for uh, your actual header of your page. So you're not restricted to using one header per site. Uh, you know, it's not like this is just for the logo and the navigation or whatever. You can use the header as an introduction to a specific section of the page. In this case, the header is the introduction to the section uh, of our entire page. 
But let's say if we had a blog or something, you could use header in like the article title name and then have the article in an article tag itself. So you can use header in more than one place. Uh, you know, I think a great site for learning HTML5 semantics is html5doctor.com. Uh, there's, what it is is sort of like a blog where they go over different HTML5 topics. But one of the most useful aspects of it is is when people write in emails and ask questions about which tags to use where, and then they'll go over various situations. So it's a really great uh, place to learn HTML5, html5doctor.com. Check it out. So now we have this header tag. It's pretty cool. We want this to actually have a class of container, though. So right now it is a class of header. Not super useful to us. Uh, but if we change this to container, if you recall, the container class from Skeleton uh, sets this in the middle. The reason why we want this inside of the header container is because we're going to want the header container to uh, span the entire width and be a certain color. So let's save this and let's go to our page here. We should see the all the stuff shoot to the middle now. So now it's center aligned. Cool works. Uh, let's change some stuff around here. Uh, in the very first lesson, we set the body background to being this purple color. Well, now that's going to change. I actually want the body background to be uh, white. So I'm going to set this to white and I'm going to say uh, header container. So this is the class that we had. Um, in our header here, header hyphen container. And this is going to get now the purple color as its background. So let's come back to our page here and refresh. Okay, so as you can see, we now have the purple color at the top. We have our header there and things are starting to take shape. Okay, well, we're gonna pick up in the next video right where we left off and we're gonna clean this up even further. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.